Redemption Center, exterior, parking lot, twilight. We are positioned in an emptied out parking lot at the edge of town. The pavement is cracked and crumbling. Weeds have taken over the footprint where supermarket once stood. A couple of decaying shopping carts act as archeological clues. It's sultry and hot. A recent thunderstorm has created puddles and the thick atmosphere hangs just above the ground. A street lamp stands in the center of frame, its fixture busted. An anemic amount of light is being emitted from a bare bulb dangling from a wire, just enough to illuminate a bicycle below lying on its side. Beyond the parking lot, across a narrow side street, there is a cinder block building. Faded lettering on the wall facing us reads, Redemption Center. Just beside it, at the far right edge of frame, we could see the first house on a residential street. There is a light on in the window. Around back, behind the Redemption Center, a truck trailer, many decades old, is attached to a loading dock. Lettering on the trailer is worn to the point of being completely illegible. There's a door open on the trailer and a light emanating from within. Two teenagers, workers at the Redemption Center, stand nearby the trailer, tending to the sorted and bagged can and bottle returns. Closer to us, beneath the street lamp in the parking lot, a man in shorts, no shirt, and very worn boots, pushes a shopping cart full of cans, bottles, and broken electronic household appliances. He has paused to gaze into a large puddle. He contemplates a constellation of rose petals that are strewn across the surface of the filthy water. 